Today, I want to talk to you about contingency versus owned debt and why that is important for you. My name is Jay and welcome to Ask a Debt Collector. I've been in the debt collection industry for over 15 years. During that time span, I've done it all from skip tracing to collecting to working in the legal department and management. Lastly, I've owned two debt collection agencies over the course of that time. During the last eight years, I've been the go-to guy for friends and family for questions about debt. Now, I want to be the go-to guy for you. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment. I promise you I'll answer those questions. Let's go. We'll start with contingency. Contingency debt is debt that is placed with a collection agency. What that means is this. We'll give you an example. Let's say, for instance, American Express. You, as a consumer, defaulted on your payments. You stopped paying. What they'll do is, at times, they'll send that account, a bulk of accounts, to a debt collection agency. Now, on a contingent purpose, basically meaning that they'll send those accounts to a debt collection agency for a allotted amount of time, three to six months, that debt collection agency will contact you with regards to payment. Now, they're behind closed doors, obviously, you as a consumer, you have no idea, but American Express and that debt collection agency will work out some type of agreement. Let's say, for instance, every dollar amount that's collected on American Express 30% the debt collection agency retains, 70% is remitted back or paid back to American Express for every dollar that's collected on those accounts. Now on own paper, American Express will sell that debt to a debt collection agency. Now with owned, they'll purchase it. A lot of times, yes, pennies on the dollar. I know a lot of you guys hear that. And they'll have the accounts and actually own the accounts. And on your credit report, a lot of times in that situation, it'll show that the account has been charged off or P&L for profit and loss, written off as a profit and loss because they were unable to collect that money uh, from you directly. Now, the reason why that is important to you is simple. If the account is on a contingent basis, which means that the debt collection agency does not own it, they're collecting for, in the case, American Express, what that means for you is less chances for settlement. And the reason why is this. American Express has already taken a loss because by sending the accounts to the debt collection agency, they're losing maybe 30%, 20%, or maybe even higher on that debt. So a lot of times with regards to the parameters, me as a debt collector, when I'm collecting on contingent accounts, if I collected $1,000, I only get credit for $300 and we're sending in the in the case of where we only, um, our, our negotiation with American Express, we only retain 30% of every dollar collected. If I collect $1,000, $300, is retained to the collection agency and $700 is remitted back to American Express. And so a lot of times when it comes to giving you a discount on the debt, it's very slim because of the money and the margins, the contract that the debt collection agency has with American Express, a lot of times they want balance in full. Maybe they'll give you 10% off, but they're already losing a chunk of the money to the debt collection agency. So a lot of times you're not going to get a great settlement. Now on debt owned, like I stated before, the debt collection agency is getting that pennies on the dollar. So a lot of times we can give a settlement because we purchased the accounts at a way cheaper rate, 10 cents, 20 cents on the dollar, depending on how uh, new and how, what type of debt um, that it is that you're getting. So you as a consumer need to find out whether or not if your account is a contingent account where the debt collection agency does not own the account, or if it's an owned account where they own it, because that's going to help you with your negotiations. If it's a contingency account and you're trying to go low on the balance, you'll understand, okay, well, chances are I'm not going to get that much of a discount 
because of the margins and the way the numbers work. Now, if the debt collection agency owns that debt, chances are you can get a way better discount because of the mere fact that they've spent pennies on the dollar for the debt in general. And a lot of times they want to clean up and, and you know collect as much money on a portfolio as possible. So very important you find out if in fact your account is owned by the debt collection agency on a con where they own it or if it's not owned, which is a contingent situation. That'll help you in your negotiations for your debt. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments promise you, like I always state, I'll answer those questions and you guys be great.